Alright, so today is the update day for the next patch in Arknights. And I think this is the first time I will have a chance to roll for the limited banner. And... Oh! What? Oh man, is there like a big celebration thing? Because there is a lot of things here. Holy frick, what the... What? Sure, let's go with this, maybe. Oh! Oh god, there's a lot of outfits. Oh, did they just make every single outfit available to purchase? Holy frick, yeah, I think they did. Oh wait, what? One free roll here, and we also have headhunt here. Oh, you get free roll every day? So how many rolls do you get if you log in every day? So the game basically gives you 25 free rolls until this banner is over, right? 10 from the free one, and then one every single day. Which is actually a genius strategy. Not only that you guarantee the players will make a daily login, you will also kind of like tease your player to just outright open their wallets and buy uh, the original Prime so they can pull on this one. Which is a little bit scummy on the other hand. <laughs> 70 percent Oh wow, okay so the- holy frick! What? Even if you get the 6 star within your 100th roll, there is only a s no, it's actually not 70% because on that 70% it's going to be split 50-50 between taxes and penance. Holy frick! What? We can praise Arknights all we want about being generous on like the gacha rolls, but for getting a specific legendary character, they really want to squeeze you out of your money. Holy frick. And remember that this is a limited banner, which means that you cannot get these characters in the regular banner. You have to wait until the next event. It's not like other banners where once that character banners is already over, they join their standard headhunting uh, pool. There is actually a hard pity system in this game, and that is this. So the way that I understand this is that this is sort of a hard guarantee. So assuming you didn't get taxes until your 300th roll, you basically can just buy her outright. The thing that makes a taxes quite interesting to a new player like me is that she has a silence and deal a ridiculous amount of damage to them. <laughs> Holy frick. Yeah, so she is a very powerful unit. And I'm actually quite afraid of getting her because she might ruin my enjoyment of the game just because she is so powerful. With this amount of damage, you can just blitz through any level without using any tactics or strategy. And... Hmm. I might not want her. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Will we get a 6 star? Nope. We don't get a 6 star. Okay, and who is the five star? And you see called me Luna Cub, so you can call me that too. I heard there's a canteen place here where you can eat whatever you want. Is that true? Where is it? Can I go there right now? Another archers. Or snipers, I guess. Pleasure to meet you, Chief. I am Shaw of the London Fire Department reporting for duty. What is happening with your tax? Where is the space bar? Okay. We will not get any guarantee on this one, so... Let's see where this takes us. Will I get... Okay, at least I got a 5 star here. I wonder who that is, though. Oh, two 5 stars, actually. Okay, who this is going to be? So you're the doctor from Rhodes Island. Hmm. Thank you for what you did. I'll pay for my treatment in time. Otherwise, I'd like to be on my own for now. Okay, and this is going to be... Okay. Okay, so that's a pretty good poll. 
I don't know about the quality of these two characters though. So 32 pulls in and we still haven't got any 6 star. Let's continue with the headhunt then. Okay, 5 star. Ah, yeah, At least give me 2. Yeah, we got 2. Okay, who is this going to be? Okay. Assassin of the Armless Union of Kajimir here is per our agreement. What am I called? Hmm. Call me Platinum then. Nice to meet you. We already got her. <laughs> uh which kind of confirms my suspicion that Arknights doesn't have any duplicate protection because I did get Project Red three times and now I got Platinum twice. An herbalist. Hmm. Let's continue on then. Oh, this time around we don't even get any five star. Ooh. Okay. So I guess I've been rather lucky, right? Okay, so this next one is going to be my last. So we'll see if we going to have anything here. Oh, what? Oh, that's a six star. That's a six star right there and a five star. Okay, just at the last pull. Okay, what's it going to be? We meet again. Oh you? my god! The Syracuse and rainy season always gets my tail wet, so I prefer the climate here. Don't worry. Exusier and the girls will keep taking care of the deliveries, but I'll handle any jobs assigned to me personally. Oh! Okay! Hmm! Ah. <laughs> uh, beginner's luck is real, I suppose. Okay, and who is the five star? Daisan Saksen Shotei Shosaku, Senpo Tsushin no Elysium, Tadaima Chakunin Stayo, Tsushin Kigoshi Janate, Choksetsu Hanasetanoa Hajimita Dione, Doctor. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so apparently, that's the trick. You just have to not want getting the operators that you want and because of the law of the universe you will always get something that you don't want and you will also never get the things that you want i guess that's how it works so it only took me 62 pulls that does drain my entire originium stock but hey i hope it's worth it <laughs> I was expecting to get like, I don't know, maybe like narrow altar or someone like that, but I'm not going to say no to that. Okay, so to test the new Texas, I immediately go to the contingency contract. And this is going to be a future video, by the way, where I'm trying to beat all of the contingency contract using a very limited knowledge of Arknights as a beginner player and only Elite 1 level 50 operators with some exceptions of course so in this level the big problem that i had previously was mudbrock and her colossus which is yeah kind of a little bit of a pain so we're going to try to attempt unlocking rank 2 and here is my team a few minutes later okay here we go here we go we're going to have texas ready in a couple seconds and we're just going to oh god Oh god, we're okay, we're leaking down there. Okay, that's not good. Okay, let's add another healer. Okay, Texas get one shot by that Colossus. Okay, once it reached that state, I'm going to try to stun it with Texas. I am ready. And we're gonna go doing that. Here my prayer. Yes, sir. Increase the defense. And now Texas drops in. I shall protect you. Oh boy, that's painful. Oh, 
Uh, my defense kind of breaks. Uh, yeah. Okay, here we go. We're going to start unloading that. And do this. Set up the defense. Once it starts to swing, we're going to cancel it using the frost. Okay, it's fine. We're going to switch you with that. And hopefully... Okay, it's going to start to swing again. We're going to freeze it. Cancel the animation. Activate the healing. Actually, I think at this point I should pull you back. Okay, it's going to raise its hand again. Gonna stun it with Sing Project Red. It wants to swing again. We're going to freeze it. Good. Uh, I need to be careful with the guys at the bottom as well. Okay. Alright, so those guys... Uh, yeah, we're going to have some problem there. But I think we got it. I think we got it. I think we got the Colossus down. We just need to deal with these guys. Initiation. My train of thought. Okay, going to freeze that again. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're, not, we're going to need Texas to deal with the guys at the bottom. The project red, go away. Okay, the golem is down. But uh, so does all of our units, unfortunately. <laughs> Can I do something with this? Let us begin. Uh, 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 oh, we got Texas again. Got a problem there. And Project Red. To do that. Okay, we're going to have another Colossus coming in though, so... Yeah, we need to be a little bit careful here. Okay, we got another Colossus coming in. Uh, we're going to need... Oh, come on, another leak. Okay, uh... Get Project Red. Got that. Oh, this is going to be tough. Ah, uh, one of them is going to get away. Uh... No, 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 Texas. Ah. Uh. Hmm. So after trying this level a couple more times, it becomes clear to me that Ark Knight's levels are designed and balanced to never allow a single operator break the game. While yes, Texas Diomertosa is powerful, she is still squishy. Place her in a wrong place against a particular type of enemy, and she won't be able to beat them. And even if she can deal with the enemies thrown at her, she is still one operator. There are many levels where I need to split my forces in different areas, and those areas need to be dealt by someone else. So no, I don't think having her will ruin my enjoyment of the game. The only caveat is that she is only Elite 1 level 50. I don't know if she could be ridiculously broken once I invested more into leveling her up or something. I don't know. And I'm honestly quite happy with that. That means I need to learn how to use Texas the Omertosa right, and there is also like a lot more challenges that I need to overcome as I learn to become a better player. So yeah, my worries were unfounded.